Hey everyone, welcome back to Oldenburg Vineyards. Last time around, we took a deep dive into Cabernet Sauvignon. For the next one and a half months, we're going to change that up just a little bit. We're going to be talking about a rather special theme. We're talking big formats, vertical tastings, library tastings, masterclasses given by both the tasting room team as well as our winemaker Nick van Aarde. Join us as we seek to entertain you. Which brings me smoothly onto our next topic. What's the big deal about magnums? No, I'm not talking about the internationally acclaimed and recognized and beloved ice cream brand or the rapper. I'm talking about Magnum bottles or double Magnum bottles or even bigger. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. The first thing that you need to know is that a Magnum is double the size of a 750 ml bottle of wine which means that the Magnum holds 1.5 liters of wine. There are even larger sizes available, as I'm sure you've just seen, but we'll cover those next time around. In the meantime, I ask again, what's the big deal? First and foremost, Magnums make an impression. This is something that most people never even come across. That is in itself pretty damn special. An instant conversation starter. It conveys a certain air of generosity. You just took the host game to the next level. <laughs> Can you imagine old Gertrude's face when you haul out one of these puppies at the next bingo evening? <laughs> no, okay, 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 for real. Magnums are meant to be a generous gift given to the table by the host without expecting anything in return. A big portion of why Magnums are so popular in France is because of the culture of good food and wine being shared. So, having more than enough is in itself a gift of graciousness. Whether it's the host that serves it or a guest that brought it, a magnum shows that someone went out of their way to make sure that you have a good time. Winston Churchill, who many of you know had a very rambunctious relationship with alcohol, had the following to say about it. A magnum is a perfect size for two gentlemen to have over lunch, especially if one isn't drinking. Mr. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. Churchill, everyone. So that's all good and well, but surely there are more reasons to get a Magnum? I am so glad you asked. Yes! Thank goodness for us people in the sales and marketing business, there are actually some serious benefits to purchasing Magnums. For one, they have been proven to age better than the standard 750ml bottle sizes. Why? Because a 750ml and a Magnum have roughly the same size bottleneck. Now, oxygen is wine's friend and enemy. Give it too much oxygen and a wine can oxidize or turn into vinegar. Give it too little and it can become reductive. But this is the wonderful benefit of corks. They allow for oxygen to slowly diffuse through the bottle. As a Magnum is double the size of a 750ml bottle of wine, it takes round about roughly double as long for the oxygen to work its way through the entire bottle. This therefore helps the aging process and allows a Magnum to age for almost double as long as a 750ml bottle. Quality plays a big role when it comes to Magnums. You won't find many wineries making shoddy bottles of wines into Magnums. Those won't sell. No, in fact, most wineries will only bottle Magnums in the best and rarest of vintages, as well as for their best bottles of wine. Which leads me smoothly onto my final point. Magnums are rare. They are usually made in very limited quantities because production costs are significantly higher than for 750ml bottles of wine. Just having a single bottle of which perhaps only 50 were made makes for an incredible collector's item. Not to mention that often these will gain an incredible value on the secondary market. Because of the limited quantities available, they can then demand premium prices. So I hope you learned a thing or two. Thanks for checking us out again today. Join us next time as I take us through the other big formats and a little bit of a history of how they came to be about. I look forward to seeing you then. Cheers.